The feeling of adopting a new pet is exciting, it's precious, but the reality is that animal homelessness remains a blaring problem today. You've probably been driving and seen a stray dog or a stray cat on the side of the road, and this issue is just so prevalent. Not only do stray dogs have no home to go to and no owners to feel love or any compassion or care at all, but they also can pose a threat to native species and spread disease. Just in the U.S., there's an estimated 70 million homeless cats and dogs, which is mainly a result of the owner's failure to spay and neuter their pets. In effect, animal rescues are constantly facing the problem of overcrowding and have a more difficult time ensuring good health for all of their animals, so we decided to support them. Hi, I'm Teresa McGuadig. And I'm Addie Eager. And this is our log project, Tasty Shoes for Pups. Pups. Our project Pastries for Pups was an effort to raise money for the Houston Great Dane Rescue. We had three bake sales, one during Thanksgiving, one during Christmas time, and one during the spring, and we sold each baked good for $1. We also got into contact with the founder of the Houston Great Dane Rescue, Ms. Judy Jones. We've actually talked about this scenario because we're getting anywhere between 10 to 20 requests a week to take in surrender games. Wow. And I think this goes across the board, not just for Great Danes. I think people got them during the pandemic mm -hmm. and now they've gone back to their other life and they don't, you know, they just think the dog is now a, a burden. When we interviewed Miss Judy Jones from the rescue, she mentioned it takes about $800 to get a puppy ready for adoption, but the adopting family only pays $400 for the puppy. We decided to set our goal to be $400 to, in effect, sponsor a puppy. Most of the planning for the project took place in baking the week before we sold. We both split up making the treats and then decorated them together. The pastries we sold included chocolate chip cookies, sugar cookies, chocolate crinkle cookies, rice crispy treats, chocolate dip pretzels, brownies, and chocolate and vanilla cake balls. And within our group, me and Addie had two different roles. I was the Monday coordinator, so I kept track of all the money we collected from our bake sales. Um, for each sale, I put the amount we earned in cash, Venmo, and Zelle in a Google Sheets, and I kept that for every sale so we could see how much we added for each sale and total and for each type of sale we did. And then Addie was the um, communicator coordinator, so she got in touch with Miss Judy Jones, the owner and founder of the Houston Great Dane, and she also helped make the flyer to advocate for our cause. And we were both bakers and sellers though for the cake pops and the treats. I'm proud to say that not only did we meet our goal, but we raised $500 for the Houston Great Dane Rescue, meaning we sold 500 baked goods. We met our goal because we were determined and organized. When we gave Miss Judy the check, she told us that the money we raised will be going towards helping a female Dane named Stella. Stella has a large tumor, so our money would help her seek medical attention and eventually be adopted into a loving family. Personally, I'm very passionate about this project because I love dogs, and out of the seven dogs I've had in my lifetime, I've had four rescue things. Um, one thing I learned about myself through this project is that when I'm passionate about a goal, I can actually make a difference. And I wouldn't, even though this project was hard work and put me out of my comfort zone, I am grateful for the opportunity to make a difference in a whole bunch of dogs' lives. Um, personally, I learned that working with others, you can accomplish so much, especially whenever you and the other person are both like passionate about a certain topic and committed. Um, a lot can happen. For me, it was just me and Addie and my group, two people, and we sold $500 with three bake sales. Imagine if there was 10, 20, or 50 people in the group. You can do so much to change the world, and it just shows how whenever people come together and they specialize in different roles in a group and just really work, then they can make a lot happen. One thing I learned about our society, or teenagers in general, is that they will buy treats for any cause. If there's food, they want it. <laughs> um, but then also I learned about societies that they actually are really willing to support a cause, and especially if they're my friends and they know I'm passionate about it, they're willing to help me out.
What I learned in this project that helped me in the future is really just putting yourself out there. Um, for our project, we went up to these random people during lunch and explained to them what our project was and how they could help by buying our baked goods. And if we didn't do that, then I wouldn't have nearly as much success as we did because I'm really not a super outgoing person, but that helped us a lot. And it just demonstrates that if you just literally just talk to more people and make connections, um, people are willing to help out there. And if you take opportunity of that, you can accomplish much more than you would just by yourself. Although we are going our separate ways in a couple of months, we both want to continue to support social issues with our friends. And we both want to continue to spread awareness of animal homelessness by encouraging those around us to foster and adopt puppies, dogs, and all other pets. Thank you. <laughs> Bate, bate, chocolate. <laughs>